In this video, we're going to take a look at some frequently asked questions for Microsoft Applied Skills. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. In October 2023, Microsoft announced the launch of its latest credentials, the Microsoft Applied Skills. So this is a skill-based assessment which is assessed over a couple of hours. So instead of you take an exam with multiple choice questions or can you put these particular stages in order, you will be given a series of assessments to actually do. So it consists of a lab in a virtual environment. You'll have two hours to complete the assessment. So you need to review the instructions, access the email messages in the virtual lab, which gives you the instructions and then log on to the relevant technology. In November 2023, Microsoft held Microsoft Ignite in Seattle, Washington, and there were a number of sessions relating to certifications and the Microsoft Applied Skills. So in this video, I'm going to condense what were several hours of sessions into some frequently asked questions. So the first question is what Microsoft Applied Skills are available? Well, on the screen, you'll see 13 skills which are currently available. Microsoft have announced an additional six credentials coming soon. Develop generative AI with Azure OpenAI service. Train and deploy a machine learning model with Azure Machine Learning. Deploy cloud native apps using Azure container apps. Scenarios to implement data lakehouses, data warehouses, and real-time analytic solutions with Microsoft Fabric build apps with Teams, and create and manage model-driven apps with Power Apps and the Dataverse. So the first frequently asked question, aside from what's available, is how do you sign up for one of these assessments? Well, you find the relevant credential. So let's say I wanted to build an Azure AI vision solution. You click on the credential and you can take an assessment straight there from Microsoft Learn, and you can complete these assessments on your own computer. So why were Microsoft Applied Skills created? Well, it allows for scenario-based assessments. So this approach is tailored to equip you with relevant skills for critical digital transformation projects in your own organization. It should enhance your effectiveness and create significant business impact. It aims to provide the hot skills currently in demand, aligning with what hiring managers and recruiters are seeking in this skill-based hiring world. Now, what are the skills which are required for the Microsoft Applied Skills? If we go back to this specific credential page and scroll down, you can see these are the tasks that are required. There is a Microsoft Learning Path available. Now, you should be careful with these. If I open one up, you will see that this particular path is taken from another exam. It has not been made specifically for this applied skill. Therefore, some of the things here in this learning path will not be relevant based on the task that you have to perform. So always bear in mind the task performed. What is really great, however, is quite often at the end of an applied skills learning path is that there will be a series of pages specifically for the applied skill. For example, if I go into this one for Power Automate, and scroll down, this very end is a guided project which has specifically been created for this applied skill. So next, what is the difference between Microsoft Applied Skills and the more traditional Microsoft certifications? Well, Microsoft certifications are a role-based assessment. They validate technical proficiency across various jobs and roles. So they encompass a broad range of skills relevant to a specific role, such as AI engineering or the data science. They generally have a specific role in their name, such as Azure Developer, Azure Architect, Azure Admin. Microsoft Applied Skills, on the other hand, is a skill-based assessment. They're designed for individuals who require specific skill-based sets for a current project they are working on. They are more targeted and in-depth. So if I go back to this Power Automate Applied Skill, you can see that there are these five tasks. These tasks are part of the PL100 certification. So if I look up PL100 and go to the skills, 
the study guide, you'll see under Microsoft Automate that we have basically the same skills which are required. So here we can see Power Automate Flaws. We need to create triggers. We need to create flaws. We need to do approvals, that sort of thing, which is already in the PL100. So instead of having a very wide series of skills, which includes Power Apps and the AI Builder, here in the Microsoft Applied Skills, we've got a very narrow set of skills, but at the same level as the PL100 exam. Next, what is the difference in the assessments between Microsoft Applied Skills and Microsoft Certifications? Well, the process to earn a Microsoft Certification typically involves studying for and passing a proctored exam. So that's an exam that you are being monitored, maybe through a webcam or in person at a test centre and it tests a breadth of skills in a particular role. It's a role-based exam. The Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment is lab-based, consisting of tasks relating to a chosen scenario. This process is less about a broad validation of skills and more about acquiring and demonstrating specific practical skills for project implementation, for a specific subset of skills. How do Microsoft Applied Skills and Microsoft Certifications complement each other? Well, people who are either already in a specific role or aspiring to enter one find role-based certifications beneficial. These certifications showcased a broad set of skills required for a particular role, offering a comprehensive validation of your capabilities within a broader professional scope. For hiring, certifications are often the first filter in the hiring process. And for me personally, I got one of my jobs, or at least an interview to the job, specifically because of the certifications on my CV or resume. So for general roles, certifications play a vital role. Others might already be in a role or are looking to quickly adapt to implement a specific project or scenario. For them, applied skills provide a more focused and practical approach. This pathway is ideal for those needing immediate, project-specific skills rather than a broad spectrum of role-based abilities. For specific projects or to upskill an existing employee in a particular area, then applied skills become more pertinent than certifications. So are Microsoft certifications being retired in light of this new applied skills program? And the answer is no, Microsoft is not doing this. Certifications continue to be in high demand and are an integral part of Microsoft's educational offerings. In fact, there's been significant growth in certification demand, particularly in the data and AI sectors. Still wish they'd bring back the SQL Server certifications though. However, individual certifications can naturally be retired as part of their natural life cycle, especially when certain skills become less in demand or they evolve. What feedback has Microsoft received regarding their new Applied Skills program? Well, the feedback has been about focused learning. Members appreciate the focus of Applied Skills on specific subjects. Career advancement is useful for individuals considering a career change or wanting to augment their current role with specific targeted skills. Accessibility, it's currently free as of the time of this recording, but there may be a change later and promoting personal and professional growth. Applied Skills empowers individuals to enhance and showcase their abilities, helping them to raise their professional profile and open up new career paths. What is the expected longevity of Microsoft Applied Skills credentials? After all, the certifications quite often have an expiry date. Well, currently Microsoft Applied Skills credentials do not have an expiry date. This allows you to have lasting recognition of your skills, albeit with the understanding that the relevance of these skills may evolve with technical advances. Are there plans to release more Applied Skills for other Microsoft products? After all, the current selection is very Azure heavy. And yes, Microsoft intends to introduce more Applied Skills on a regular basis compared to the cadence of releasing certifications. They will encompass various Microsoft solution areas across different Microsoft products and technologies, ensuring a broader range of skills and technologies are covered. How is the integrity of the Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment being maintained? Well, while it's not a proctored assessment, you must apply the skills and knowledge gained from the learning paths in a lab-based assessment. 
This method ensures that you truly understand the material and can apply it in a real world scenario rather than just repeating information learned from texts. This practical approach is more challenging and can't be circumvented through traditional study methods like brain dumps. It requires using specific product features to complete tasks related to the scenarios. This demonstrates your proficiency in navigating and utilising the product effectively. So the lack of proctoring is to encourage skill development and to make the process accessible to a wider audience. So there is an element of trust involved, but Microsoft is open to implementing additional security features. Are there any plans or expectations for Microsoft partners to include applied skills in addition to certifications? Well, Microsoft is actively collaborating with their partner program to explore the integration of applied skills into the existing framework of partner requirements and benefits. This includes assessing when and how it makes sense to include applied skills in addition to traditional Microsoft certifications. Changes require six months notice so partners can be well informed and adjust accordingly. What's the cost for taking these Microsoft Applied Skill Assessments? Currently it's offered for free, but this is for a limited time only. There has been no announced timeline or future pricing strategy. Can completing Microsoft Applied Skills be credited towards certifications on similar topics? For example, there are four current and upcoming Microsoft Applied Skills which are relevant to the PL100 exam. Well, Microsoft has not announced any such integration at this time, but it is considering this for future. Is there a possibility of Microsoft Applied Skills also encompassing technologies from third partners? Well, currently Microsoft is focusing on Microsoft technologies, but it is conceivable that in the future, third party technologies could also be applied to applied skills. Can we expect Microsoft Applied Skills focused in AI? Well, Microsoft has already launched free AI aligned applied skills. They are natural language processing, AI vision, and document intelligence solutions. As it continues to launch core pilot capabilities across its products, Microsoft plans to incorporate these core pilot scenarios into the applied skills program. What is the retake policy for Microsoft Applied Skills Assessments? If you don't pass, or if you cancel a Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment, you can then take another one after 72 hours. Will there be Microsoft Applied Skills Assessments for the Power Platform? Well, there are currently two assessments, and there are two coming. They are Create and Manage Canvas Apps with Power Apps, Create and Manage Automated Processes by using Power Automate, and then coming soon, Build Apps with Teams, and create and manage model-driven apps with Power Apps and Dataverse. How is Microsoft balancing the number of certifications and applied skills offerings? Certifications are generally role-based and cover major roles that rely on Microsoft technology. The number of new certifications has slowed down given its maturity and robust size of the number of certifications. For Microsoft Applied Skills, it is anticipated that over time, there will be more applied skills scenarios than there are certifications. This is because they are newer and their scope per applied skill is smaller. And then finally, how does Microsoft decide whether a new area of technology requires a certification or a Microsoft Applied Skill? Well, if the technology aligns with a clear, definable job role that requires a broader range of skills, then a certification may be the appropriate route. Where the focus is on a very specific problem or a task within a broader job role, then an applied skill may be more appropriate. For example, a role like prompt engineer might not currently necessitate a full certification due to its specialised nature. However, it could be the perfect candidate for an applied skill as it represents a specific skill set within a larger technological context. The decision also depends on market demand and the evolving landscape of technology. What may not require a full certification today might become significant enough in the future to warrant one. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Now, Microsoft is going to keep expanding the number of Microsoft Applied Skills. If you want to stay up to date, then please go to our website, idodata.com, and go to our blog. If you found this video useful, then please like it. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. 
I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.